What's up guys and welcome to another video in Wild Kinetics. My name is Elam and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your own PVC bike frame. If you haven't already, don't forget to drop a massive like on this video. Subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already in order for me to keep posting more videos like this. And comment down below what you thought of the video and if you guys have any other video suggestions for videos that I can do in the future. Now let's get started. Here is the uh, bike frame. It weighs around seven pounds and costs around uh, 40 bucks to build. You can get all these parts at uh, your local uh, hardware store that has PVC pipes. And to give you a perspective, um, a brand new bike frame can cost anywhere from 100 to several thousand dollars, just the bike frame alone. So I was trying to do this uh, bike frame to see if I could lower the cost of building your own bike. So let's get into it. Okay, so here are all the pieces you are going to need. All of these pieces combined add up to around 40 or so dollars if you get them at your local hardware store. You're gonna need uh, two 10 foot pipes that are one inch and one 10 foot, 10 foot pipe that is three fourths inch um, in order to like build this whole thing. On top of that, you're gonna need one cross, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven T's. These two T's are special. That is all three fourths inch. That is three fourths inch at the top and one half, and sorry, one inch on the sides. And the rest of the pieces are one inch. You're gonna need also two 45 degree elbows and you're not gonna need six 90 degree elbows for the forks and the back forks. Everything else is basically going to be cut. And one last thing, you're gonna need uh, one coupler uh, for the fork, which you will see later. Now for the measurements, here is your vertical post right here, the one that goes right up, right below your seat, the center of the frame. Um, and that would be 16 inches or 16 and a fourth inches. This one right here is your uh, base pole, which goes out parallel to your frame. Um, and that would be 19 inches. This pole right here is your diagonal, which measures at 18 or 19 inches. It's gonna be your diagonal that makes basically makes a triangle. So these are for your triangle. As you can see, I have the pieces arranged um, as to what is being built. So this right here are the pieces for the triangle. These are the pieces for the back. And these pieces all the way out here are the pieces just for the fork and handlebars. On to the next part. I have right here the two uh, chain stays. Chain stays are the bottom two poles that stick out of the frame. And then seat stays are the top two poles that uh, are diagonally down uh, in the frame. These measure at 16 inches each and these measure at 22 inches each. You're also going to need, these aren't shown here in the video, but you're gonna need a drill to drill holes. Um, this is about maybe three eighths inch holes uh, into the PVC pipe. And on top of that, you're also gonna to have to use a Dremel saw to not only cut all these pieces, but you're gonna uh, use it to basically cut this indentation here in the pole, all of these are for the back. Um, now onto the fork and handlebars. These are your forks. They each measure in at 18 inches. And here you have your handlebars right here. You each measure in at 12 inches. This pole right here is basically your steering column, which goes through the front of your frame to help, to, which causes the fork to pivot. And this is 12 inches. Now there are more pieces as you can tell. There are these little uh, pieces of one inch PVC pipe right here, which are basically gonna use, be used as connectors uh, to can build the whole frame and connect it together. Uh, these should preferably be cut to uh, from one and three fourths of an inch to about two inches uh, in order to uh, fit properly. You're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. You're going to need about 12 of those, which you will cut from your main um, one inch PVC pipe. And like I mentioned before, you have your uh, connector here, which is one inch on these both ends and then three fourths of an inch on the top. And this is three fourths of an inch all the way around. And then you're also going to need maybe a ratchet to screw in this bolt. This bolt goes in the back. That's what these holes are for to keep, keep them together. We're going to be using this bolt right here to keep uh, the back of the frame together. And you're also going to need a drill, like I said before, and a saw to basically cut all your pieces. So now let's get started.